we open on Adam Stanhite almost drowning in a bathtub and having just the worst experience at the local spa. Dr. Lawrence Gordon, another less than satisfied customer, is priming for a one-star Yelp review. A random old guy is lying dead in a pool of blood in the middle of the room with a revolver in one hand and a cassette player in the other. Likely not a fan of the direction Kanye West took with this new album. This actor has some serious acting chops because only upon the closest inspection can you tell that he's still breathing. He's still breathing. He's still breathing. He's still breathing. He's a... Adam is chained up. Lawrence is chained up. <laughs> you know what that means. The two men form an alliance to escape this predicament. They find audio cassettes in their pockets from their kidnapper. Adam goes fly fishing for the cassette player and listens to his tape. A soothing voice suggests he should probably escape before he's killed. Something that may come as obvious to most torture victims. Lawrence's tape urges him to kill Adam in order to save his wife and daughter, making this an awkward first date. The recording ends with a clue to follow your heart. A clue, a clue! Oh! Oh, did you see a clue? Where? They see a painted heart on the tank of the filthy toilet. Adam, being the dirty dog that he is, immediately goes elbow deep in Poop Creek. Uncovering nothing but some stale logs, he then decides to check the tank. You know, where the clue was. Johnny Poop Hands finds two hacksaws in the tank, and the guys start sawing away at their chains. But the blades aren't meant for metal, silly. They're meant for feet. Dr. Lawrence has a flashback to treating his cancer patient, John Kramer. A memory that may seem kind of important to this storyline. Upset with the lack of respect Lawrence treats his patients, Zepp. The hospital's custodian says something along the lines of, his name is John, Dr. Gordon. He's a very interesting person. His name is John, Dr. Gordon. He's a very interesting person. In related news, Lawrence has an epiphany as to who their foot phobia kidnapper may be. A while back, he was a suspect in a case involving a masked puppet enthusiast murderer named Jigsaw, who thinks the Pain Olympics had too short of a run and sets up elaborate self-mutilation games for his sinful victims. He records instructions on audio cassettes, because the local Radio Shack must have been having a pretty sweet sale. Danny Glover plays the lead detective, finally getting a case involving someone more psychotic than Mel Gibson. We transition to Lawrence's apartment, where his daughter is spooked because she thought she saw a man lurking in her closet. Her mom tells her it's nothing and to go back to sleep, but that's a tough ask when there's actually a man in your closet. The intruder comes out of the closet, but like, not, not, as, a, not as a homosexual, as, as a ghost. He ties up the mother and daughter and reveals himself. It's Zep. Back at the spa, Lawrence uses his saw the way God intended, as a hammer. In the wall, he finds a cell phone that Jigsaw made sure only receives calls, in case Lawrence tries to be cheeky and attempts to call 911. The soup thickens when it's revealed that Adam was hired by Detective Tap to follow Lawrence under the suspicion that he was Jigsaw. Tap was discharged from the police force and became obsessed convincing himself that Lawrence must have been involved with the murders. He convinced himself that I must have somehow been involved with the murders. I mean, he's, he's crazy. Lawrence channels his inner Batman. I did not cheat on her! <laughs> Where are they? And unlike Rachel, his wife and daughter escape. Tap barges into the apartment after hearing gunshots and chases Zep to the spa. Now safe, Lawrence's wife tries calling the phone. Lawrence can't reach it, so instead of using his shirt to pull the phone closer, he rips it off and ties it around his leg as a tourniquet and saws off his foot. 
Everything that's wonderful is what I feel when we're together. Zep shoots Tap, and Lawrence shoots Adam. Zep enters the room and is about to kill Lawrence. But Adam pulls a Jesus and resurrects, attacking Zep like a shark on Shark Week. Lawrence scurries away to get help and Adam searches Zep's pockets. He finds a tape recorder. Zep was also being manipulated by Jigsaw. Adam nearly shits himself when the body in the middle of the room stands up to stretch his legs. It's John Kramer. Who would have thought the only other character mysteriously mentioned in this storyline was Jigsaw? The avid gamer that he is, Johnny Krames, announces his catchphrase. Game over. And says goodnight to sweet young Adam. If you're a fan of modern advancements in the design of braces, that one co-worker that gets way too intense when doing escape rooms, or are just super intrigued when creepy puppets call you Amanda, then this movie's for you. Hello, Amanda. You don't know me, but I know you. I want to play a game. Drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more horror recaps. Comment down below what movies you want to see butchered next. 